A lack of modern infrastructure has restricted Africa's megacities. In recent years, some African countries have decided to take matters into their own hands by undertaking large-scale projects to sustain their rapidly growing populations. Some of the biggest construction projects ever undertaken in Africa are currently under progress, including Eco-Atlantic City in Nigeria, Hope City in Ghana, and Kigali Innovation City in Rwanda, all promising to resolve the problems of poverty and the economic standstill in their respective countries by attracting innovative technologies. Another African country has begun work on a $14.5 billion technology metropolis in an effort to recruit technical expertise and investors to drive the country's economic growth. When complete, it is expected to be the most advanced city in Africa. Today we will explore this new smart city rising in Africa and discuss its progress so far. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The population of Kenya's capital of Nairobi has doubled across the last 20 years, with nearly 4.5 million people crammed into densely inhabited urban areas. The high premium on space is making life difficult for the city's residents and businesses. Buildings are situated extremely close to each other, limiting natural light. This vertical congestion causes a reliance on electricity for lighting even during the day that cannot be provided by alternatives like solar, due to limited roof space. Overpopulation has led to neighborhoods forming around the city, with little or no planning or infrastructure to support them. This ongoing sprawl has led the Kenyan government to take a long-term view on city development. Their new approach integrates sustainability and functionality into every single planning decision, resulting in a fully circular approach. Just over 60 kilometers south of Nairobi on the way to the port city of Mombasa sits the site of Kenya's newest smart city, Kanza Technopolis. The vision of the Kenyan government is to build a broader city from scratch to bring research universities, industry, and government together. The city will be modeled after Silicon Valley in the United States, so it has been nicknamed the African Silicon Savanna. Kanza Technopolis, previously called Kanza Technology City, has been in development for 15 years, and it is set to position Kenya as a technology leader in Africa and globally. In 2008, plans for Kanza City were first revealed as part of Kenya's Vision 2030, a government-led development program with the declared goal of transforming Kenya into a middle-income country providing a high-quality life to all its citizens by the year 2030. Since its construction in 2019, the project has created more than 400 jobs and trained more than 100 local workers and engineers. Being developed at a cost of $14.5 billion, the city is planned to cover more than 2,000 hectares when fully finished. The project will be Kenya's future hub for business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, and light assembly manufacturing industries. As a flagship project for Kenya's Vision 2030 for economic development, Kanza is planned to be a world-class city, powered by a thriving information, communications, and technology sector and reliable infrastructure. Kanza City's master plan follows a stitch framework, consisting of a mixed-use bar that runs east to west off Mombasa Highway, and intersects with a series of program bands that run north to south. These bands include areas dedicated to a university, residential spaces, science and technology, and offices. The city will also host commercial buildings, hotels, entertainment centers, a science park, a convention center, shopping malls, schools, and hospitals. An important component of this sprawling technology hub is the inclusion of general and affordable housing for people working and living within the Technopolis, as well as affordable housing for students. But what truly sets Kanza Technopolis apart is its commitment to sustainability. The city is not just smart, it's green. From double-glazed windows and solar panels to rainwater collection, clean sanitation and waste management, every aspect of Kanza Technopolis is designed for efficiency and eco-friendliness. The focus on green building practices and sustainable materials ensures a clean environment, 
efficient use of water, and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. With ample green spaces allocated, Kanza Technopolis is expected to be a walkable city, one that includes high-quality public spaces, active and varied amenities, and short commute times between destinations. Moreover, Kanza Technopolis is fostering urban farming technologies to bolster food security and contribute to wildlife preservation within its expansive 1,000-acre wildlife corridor. As a smart city, Kanza will integrate a network of smart devices and sensors in the urban environment, roads, and buildings. Kanza's residents will also have direct access to the collected data, such as traffic maps, emergency warnings, and detailed information describing energy and water consumption. The availability of data will enable Kanza's residents to directly participate in the city's operations, lead more sustainable lives, and improve general inclusion. Shifting our focus to the city's construction, it is being built in stages to accommodate the growing population of 200,000 people. The project's first brick was laid in 2013. In 2019, the Kanza complex was completed, a mixed-use building with offices, a conference hall, and a hotel. The building has adhered to the green building standards and has integrated state-of-the-art technologies of smart buildings. Kanza's entire life cycle is being considered as part of its planning, and any construction materials used must be as green as possible. The developers claim to understand the environmental impacts of building an entire city from scratch and therefore are sourcing many materials locally. The city will see several steel-built structures, which offer many benefits for green construction, providing high strength and durability as well as speeding the construction process with components that can be precision manufactured off-site. When it comes to life cycle considerations, steel's infinite recyclability means that for a building's construction, use phase, and even after demolition, it can provide green benefits that make it ideally suited to the creation of more sustainable buildings and cities. Kanza was meant to be completed in 2019, However, due to lack of investor funding and court battles, it is still under construction. As of October 2021, only three of the eight planned buildings were completed as it experienced numerous interruptions due to administrative and economic issues. Just when it looked like it would end up stored away in a drawer, in February 2021, the announcement came that 40% of Kanza Technopolis had been sold to investors, and the construction of some of its main buildings has been completed. In 2022, $73 million was pumped into the continuation of the project by the government of Kenya. An additional $6 million in grant was given by South Korea in March 2023 to help in the building of the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Running behind schedule, the developers of the project are not losing hope. As of the latest update, Kansas City is making remarkable progress. Phase 1 of this ambitious project is now at an impressive 90% completion and currently the developers are courting Chinese and Korean investors. The city has almost finished laying the necessary infrastructure, which was the main task in the first phase of the project. The initial phase covers 160 hectares, creating around 13,000 residential units that can accommodate up to 30,000 residents. It is projected that Phase 1 of Kanza Technopolis, upon completion, will generate 17,000 jobs and contribute an additional 2% of GDP to the country. Meanwhile, the Kanza Technopolis Development Authority, the entity that oversees the development of the city, has entered into a 99-year lease with the central government of Kenya, granting it the power to sublease parcels to developers, finance the public infrastructure, and offer incentives to attract investors and tenants. The 400 kV Kanza substation, one of the key infrastructure undertakings in the Technopolis and being constructed by the China Aerospace Construction Group, is expected to supply power to the city by March next year. More than 80% of the substation's construction and equipment installation have been completed. The development of Kanza City is reshaping the real estate landscape in its vicinity. As Kanza City progresses toward completion, Nearby areas are experiencing a surge in residential developments, attracting people who work within the city. 
One significant factor contributing to this trend is the proximity of the booming Adi River town to Kanza. The Nairobi Expressway, not too far from Kanza, has also played a key role in the desirability of living in or near Kanza. This key infrastructure link not only ensures convenient commuting but also enhances the value of land in the surrounding regions. As Phase 1 of Kansas City nears completion, its impact on nearby real estate markets is evident. In its entirety, Kansas City exemplifies a forward-thinking approach to urban planning in Kenya, prioritizing sustainability, seamless technology integration, and robust economic development. This endeavor stands as a beacon of progress in the nation's pursuit of a visionary and thriving future. If it were to become a reality, Kanza would be the most advanced African city and an important driving force for economic growth, education, and employment for the country as a whole. What do you think about Kanza Technopolis? Do you think the city is a good addition to Kenya? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.